This is our group journal which is related to our subtopic, the activity-based costing application in the public sector. Our public sector of choice is education. Our title journal is using the activity-based costing approach to measure the cost of quality higher education, a faculty perspective. Although teaching and learning are the most important activity of college and university, they are largely affected by financial and budgetary consideration. To support this activity, the expected source of income must be consistent with the planned expenditure because there is no school or university without a good budget. To maintain funding source with educational needs, it is often necessary to prioritize educational programs. If income is insufficient, some programs or plans may be downgraded or cancelled entirely. Therefore, it is critical to find additional income to maintain these plans or to find ways to reduce the cost. In higher education, the cost of quality or the cost of poor quality is often difficult to quantify. The use of activity-based costing can help overcome the challenge by facilitating the allocation of costs to appropriate cost quality categories, thereby facilitating continuous improvement activity in higher education institution. Meaning of service refers to any important or complementary activity that does not directly produce a physical product. Service quality can be defined as the degree to which customer believes their expectations have been met. If quality is to measure, it is subjective and it must be assessed whether the experience is pleasant or unpleasant. It is often difficult to manage the quality of service because their production often requires a higher degree of customization. Production and consumption of service often occur at the same time. This means that the service must run successfully in the first time. Customers are more involved in the production of service. This contact with client increases the variability, the provision of service and makes it difficult to control them. Many universities share great resources of general quality efforts. However, the proportion of higher education institutions participating in long-term initiatives to measure and improve quality has seemed to have relatively low. A question that often asks about the quality of implementation it is provides economic benefits. One way to solve the quality problem is to identify and measure the quality costs. The cost of quality is also called the cost of inferior quality or substandard quality, including the avoidance of inferior quality costs and costs incurred due to inferior or substandard quality. It also specifies the cost associated with the quality that is the losses suffered by individuals, organizations or society due to poor quality. These losses can be measured not only by rejection, waste or rework, but also by environmental pollution, product wear and tear or other potential adverse effects. In service, the idea quality concept is affected by customer perception and satisfaction. If the service is not performed as the expected, the quality of the service is measured according to the loss to the society. The cost of quality is determined by measuring the result of any existing poor or unqualified quality. For example, you can measure the return of a defective products. The cost of infection can be measured by quality of design. The cost of maintaining a business or users can be measured by labor and the parts. Production line downtime can be measured too. You can measure the losses of customers due to poor service quality. You can calculate the investment cost of failure prevention. The results of the Six Sigma plan can be compared with the process that does not use the Six Sigma. The benefits after ISO certification can be compared with the benefits before certification. The cost of quality plans can be compared with the income and return on investment over a period of time before the implementation of this quality plan.
The cost of low quality decision can be measured in terms of the human suffering they cause. Next, we will continue with quality cost classification in manufacturing and services, which is broken down into four different components. The first is prevention costs. They are associated with preventing defects and imperfections from occurring. Considered as investment made to keep appraisal, auditation, and failure costs to a minimum, that is to ultimately reduce the other two quality cost categories. It is they are associated with such activities such as quality training, quality planning, process engineering, supplier reviews, statistical process control, and cost. Action. Second one is appraisal or detection cost. It is associated with measuring quality directly, associated with efforts to ensure conformance to requirements through measurement and analysis of data to detect non conformance, pertain to the cost of lab testing, inspection, equipment tests, and materials, losses resulting from destructive tests, and cost associated with assessment like the ISO or other rewards. The third is internal failure costs, which include as a result of unsatisfactory quality found before the product or service is delivered to the customer. For example, scrap and reward costs, cost of corrective action, downgrading costs and process failures. And the fourth is external failure costs, which occur after poor quality products or services reach the customer or stakeholder. For example, cost due to customer complaints and returns, product recall costs and warranty claims, product liability costs, lost customer goodwill, and lost sales. Proceed to activity-based costing ABC. Traditional overhead allocation methods such as departmental overhead rates average department costs to product that are processed through the department. Product that do not pass through all the activities in the department will be overcharged with departmental costs and hence overpriced. Product that pass through all the activities in the department will be uncharged with departmental costs and hence underpriced. So these errors may lead to loss in competitive testness and losses in revenue due to underpricing. Activity-based costing mitigates the problem of inaccurate cost accumulation by accumulating costs based on the activities that the cost object went through. ABC method focus on allocating overhead costs to activity cost pool using resource drivers and later allocating costs in the activity cost pools to product using activity cost drivers. ABC is the most accurate cost allocation method compared to the traditional approach and thus a better approach for managerial decisions such as pricing strategy particularly in heterogeneous product settings. Cost of the quality identification with ABC. Cost of the quality need to be proper, addressed and controlled in firm which to derive a highest competitive environment. A cost of quality that be most due to internet accident, failure indicate the be push of quality may be filled. Ensuring the highest quality education process not only facilitate the output of highest quality graduate but also have a reduce of the cost of plus of a competitive education process. The of quality cost should be prevention. The procedure requirement to determine the overhead cost attribute to quality is considered the determined by full type evaluation, FTE for the teaching, research, service and administrative for each faculty. A survey along with interview with department chair is necessary to determine FTE for each faculty for four activity. The planning and actual FTE span of this activity can be comprised and use of a variable analysis. A faculty that FTE's prevention, detention, internal failing, external failure in the teaching may be not necessarily equal to faculty FTE for teaching. 
Next, the cost of the quality for teaching activity using ABC. Teaching is considered to be one of the most critical activity in the college or university. The facilities this activity, however, require a sustainable amount for finance resources. It's also important to improve the effect of technical by measuring the cost for the quality. The next aspect is promotion and detention. Faculty needs to estimate the time requirement designing a course and prepare for the class at the beginning of the school year. Activities indicate for determine failure may be involved ready of assignments, questions, examiners, quizzes and projects. Analysis of graduate may be provide feedback regarding the quality of the education process. Next, internal failure. We define internal failure as a failure of individual faculty in delivery highest quality of education process. Negative division from the estimate cost in rule adjust for the tolerated division is assumed to be the consequence of internal failure. The next challenge is to express the decline in the student in room for the environment due to internal failure into the monetary terms. To calculate the cost of internal failure, the FTE for internal failure will be then multiplied by the faculty salary rate per hour. The FTE per student will be different in two semesters. In the case, the different number of students are enrolled in the cost start and average should be computed. First alternative, determine alternative internal failure cost by estimate the FTE per student for the faculty teaching for the cost. Second alternative, consider the loss of tuition because of the decline in the student enrolled and the internal failure cost. Lastly, external failure. We define external failure as conversion of quality failure that before is beyond causes taught by the faculty. A statistical estimation technique may be based on historical department. Improvement may be used to estimate normal environment adjust for the estimation error. Any negative deviation in the department is enrollment from the estimate assumed to be due to external failure. Two approach could be used to estimate external failure cost. First approach, calculate the external failure cost as the dollar value of FPT or the decline in the department enrollment. Second approach, calculate the external failure cost as the loss of income from the decline in the departmental enrollment. Hi, I'm going to present about cost of quality for research activities using ABC. Research activities facilitate discovery of new knowledge, theories, and applicability of theories. They also help improve the quality of faculties by increasing depth and breadth of their knowledge that is hope to improve teaching. Overall, research activities also help higher education institutions to be more competitive. The objective of an institution of higher education to research is to ensure high quality research activities. There are two major sources of quality causes in research which is the cost of preventing and detecting and the cost arising from quality failure internally and externally. Prevention and detection of costs. Publication is an indication of quality research and be the goal of research activities. The objective of research is not fully met when it is without dissemination of research activities. Hence, managers and faculties need to design activities that prevent and detect failure as early as possible before it turns out to be internal or external failure. The key to prevent failure of research quality is by preparing and reviewing research proposal. To enable some budgeting of quality cost faculties, need to estimate hours they plan to spend on proposal preparation and they also need to log hours spent on proposal preparation and review to enable measurement and reporting of prevention costs. On the other hand, the key to prevent detection activities is by milestones review and annual faculty activity report. For budgeting purposes, the hours spent to be spent on preparation of faculty activities report and review of research project milestone need to be documented. While measurement and reporting of detection costs require faculties to keep log of hours spent on faculty activities report preparation and review of research milestone. Internal failure costs. Internal quality failure is defined as failure of faculties to meet research project goals. The challenge is to convert failure to meet goals into FTE.
One way of converting internal failure is by determining the percentage of goal achievement. An achievement below 100% represents internal failure. FTE of internal failure is calculated by the difference between actual achievement and goals in percentage multiplied by the total hours used by the faculty for research activities. Internal failure cost is calculated by taking FTE of internal failure multiplied by salary rate per hour. External failure cost it is defined as failure to publish the result of research activities. A research project may take multiple years to accomplish and get published. Thus, only in the year of publication target will there be a measurement for external failure. Next, failure to publish is defined as the failure of the entire research work. This can be calculated as the entire research hours spent throughout the research project multiplied by salary rate per hour. Cost of quality for service activities using ABC. Besides from teaching and research activities, faculties are also required to provide services either to the community or to the university. Services to community can be defined in the form of voluntary works for non-profit organization, while services to the university may be in the form of community memberships. Management needs to be able to quantify the cost of quality in service activities to enable proper measurement and reporting of cost of quality. Prevention and detection. Faculties may be appointed to sit as a committee members to enable enough representation across university in providing insight on important issues to ensure the proper functioning of committee. The committee members should spend time studying the term of reference, spend time to design proper scheduling, spend time studying the agenda, and review related materials to ensure quality participation in committee session. To prevent costly failure, committee members should detect as early as possible. This can be done by reviewing committee minutes and records of discussion. On the other hand, to detect failure, preparation of annual report that outlines the activities of faculties in areas such as teaching, research, and service to provide quality service. Faculties may also decide to serve the wider community by being a member of an organization that serves the public. As part of preventing failure to provide quality service to this organization, faculties need to review their responsibilities and expectations of this organization. Faculties also need to make effort to prepare an itinerary. The time spent on this effort need to be logged to enable measurement and reporting of the cost associated with it. Internal failure. In the case of services as member of a committee, internal failure for service activities is defined as absent from committee session and lack of participation. The FTE of absent is calculated by multiplying the number of absent by the length of committee session per meeting. The cost of internal failure can be calculated by multiplying the hours of absent from committee session by salary per hour. External failure Extend failure for committee membership can be defined as cancellation of scheduled session due to lack of attendance. The FTE external failure is calculated by taking the frequency of cancelled scheduled session that is due to lack of attendance multiplied the length of meeting per session. Then, cost of external failure is calculated by taking FTE multiplied the salary rate per hour. Lastly, the cost of quality for administrative activities using ABC. The first one is prevention and detection. Faculties involved in administrative functions need to review their job descriptions, study policies and term of references related to their job to ensure goals will be achieved. Hours that are spent on these activities need to be logged and multiplied by the salary rate per hour for the faculty. Activities designed to detect for any lack in quality must be in place to avoid quality failure both for internal and external. Analysis from students includes efforts need to be focused too. The hours spent on analyzing activities and feedbacks 
represents the FTE for detecting lack of quality, hence multiplied by FTE with the salary rate per hour will estimate the cost of detecting lack of quality. The second one is internal failure. Internal failure in administrative function may be defined as failure to meet goals set at the beginning of school year. An assessment is necessary to determine percentage of achievement. An actual achievement in percentage that is less than 100% represents internal failure. Multiplying internal failure in percentage by total faculty hours allocated for administrative function represents the FTE for internal failure. The internal failure cost is then derived by multiplying FTE for internal failure by salary rate per hour. The last one is external failure. External failure of quality arising from administrative function as decline in student enrollment that is in excess of normal fluctuation. Negative differences between actual department's enrollment and estimated department's enrollment indicates external failure in quality. The estimation of cost of external failure in administrative function can be done using by two methods. The first method is method E. First, the decline in student enrollment that is due to the lack of quality in administrative functions needs to be converted into FTE of decline in student enrollment. This is done by estimating the FTE per enrolled student and multiplying it by the number of declines in student enrollments that arises from external failure in quality of administrative functions. The next method is method F. First, determine the proportion of administrative hours relative to total hours. Second, determine the decline in external failure that is attributable to administrative functions by multiplying the proportion of administrative hours to decline in external failure that is attributable to administrative function. Third, determine the total credit hours lost from decline in external quality attributable to administrative functions. Finally, multiply the total credit hours lost due to the external quality by tuition per credit hour to estimate the cost of external quality. The conclusion is cost of quality in higher education such as prevention and detection, internal failure, external failure can be estimated using the activity-based costing model. Administrators can evaluate the relative importance of quality problems and identify opportunities for cost reduction. A successful quality initiative will not guarantee institutional success. Poor quality can eventually drive an institution to failure. It can also help to identify changes and improvement for an institution.